My name is Carl Alexander. I am the vocal director for Pippin. One, two, three, four, one. Four more in the world. It is fun, chaotic, and crazy. This is the first musical that we've had in a long time that's large scale. Uh, so it requires a lot of singers, a lot of dancers, a lot of props and craziness going on on stage. Especially this is our first one post-COVID. So it's giving people the chance to sharpen their skills at singing again, singing and dancing, singing, dancing, and acting. like. It's a crazy combo of all the things that we love in the arts. Um, so we're finding some really interesting challenges as people are trying to reapproach the stage. And we're also finding some really awesome moments where people are like learning to love their voices again, um, learning that they love to like dance and kick and have a good time. And so I'm excited about this process. There's some growing pains, but it's turning to a really beautiful flower. We have a little different setup, so each day, at least for vocal rehearsal, we come in, we warm up a little bit, and we kind of jump into, okay, we're in this particular act, we're going to get through these scenes, and we're going to try to translate what's happening on stage into what's going on in music. That has been a lot of fun. People are trying to figure out all the different little splits, so there's a lot of harmony in this piece. We've also taken the liberty of adding some roles that didn't really exist, so uh, for instance, leading players are now a trio, um, and that has been really fun for me because I get to write parts that don't exist uh, and make some interesting harmonies that don't exist in the world of music that's already there. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun. We are getting to play and stretch our ideas of what uh, singing really looks like. And so that's been, I think, probably the most exciting part for me in the process. Um, but we spent about an hour, hour and a half together, really locking it down. And uh, for the past couple weeks, we've been just running the music, trying to get it comfortable in our bodies, remember what happens when someone goes to a different part who has a solo. Um, all of that can be really confusing and everyone's been handling it very well. Pippin's about a young man, right? Like straight up, just trying to figure out life. And I think of it, uh, at least I've been talking to Jake, the person who's playing Pippin, more about like, okay, this is real life, you're a senior and you're going into life and you're venturing to try to actually be an artist and, and a performer and you're like, what am I doing? What is happening? Who is my community of support? Like, who's my chosen family? And how am I going to keep moving forward in life? Um, and I think Pippin really does hit the heart of like trying to find yourself, not only as an artist, but as a young person um, and really finding those people who are going to support you in all that you do. Um, and also let you thrive and, and find out truly who you are in a time of awakening and um, getting consciousness about like what you really hold dear to you. It's been a good way to, for people to center like what's important to them and like what they want to go after and, and what they value in life. So the crazy thing about musicals is that they are choosing to heighten some of the things in our lives that are incredibly normal. Um, in order to shine truths about them and or to really get us to express how we really feel about those things. So like for instance, there are funny musicals where it's, they talk about eating a sandwich or eating a piece of cake and you're like, what? I would never sing about that. Like, but they really want to show like, I enjoy food, <laughs> but also food might be my crutch emotionally, you know? And so we get to dig deep into what that really means. Uh, I love musicals because it was my first entry into singing. Um, I did Little Shop of Horrors back in the day. It's a very high voice plant, but it was a good way for me to say and be like extra and over the top and do something that was outside my norm completely um, as a foray into being a way of expressing myself and letting go of anger or letting, like enjoying and living in full joy and content. Um, so I think musicals are a way for one, the people who are performing, to fully express themselves and like have no barriers and take the things that they would have said into song and into like dance and into these like heightened expressions. But it's also a cool way for audiences to delve into that um, and for audiences to just like get away from everything for a few seconds and fall in love with this moment that is a part of the real lives, but very often they censor or don't let it go to that place. I came here originally participating in the arts um, as a guest artist singer and now to like take the things that I've done on stage and like help translate them to other students who are looking to do that has been really fulfilling and awesome. We have great students and awesome resources and teachers who come and support the work. Um, I wouldn't want to do it anywhere else. I mean, you have some of the best student actors, student artists who are looking to create and make something new and you all are very expressive and are willing to like give yourselves over to something to make something bigger than yourselves. And I think that is huge. Like it's hard even to find professional artists who do that. So that has been probably the highlights of being a part of Niles West Theater um, and supporting the work and growth of student artists. One, two, three, four, one. 
Here's some very crazy locals that you probably did not expect from this show. Um, and also come for the spectacle. Pippin's kind of a spectacle of a show. It show, manifests itself in different ways. And I'm excited for the way it's going to show up you know, on our stage for the first time in a while. So, yeah. April 28th community show, April 29th, and April 30th. You can buy t uh, tickets on the Naswas Theater website. Um, also, there'll probably be some at the door if you show up. And we're doing it in the auditorium, so we're going to be in the big space. There's plenty of seats if you want to space out or be masked. Um, it's kind of going to be a fun time.